Welcome back to the lightning round of uh, asynchronous video lecture. Just kidding. We are moving at um, a glacial pace through our student discussion questions for week three of COM 4413 Communication and Cultural Change. But that's okay because we're we are entering the the middle portion the body of the most uh, of the most uh, essential reads we, we tackle this semester we're getting into the nitty-gritty here in these questions they're they're evolving okay and so it's it's indicative of of the critical thinking skills we're practicing uh, so why not engage it right fun topics let's give them their space and here we go let's keep it let's keep it going here um, Let's explore some questions on complex TV, uh, can, the poetics of contemporary television storytelling. I don't know if uh, I'm ever going to get those words uh, straight oh, <laughs> without, without peeking just to make sure. It's, uh, I love the title of that book, but something about it is uh, pronunciation is, 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 gives me fits. Okay, so. But we're looking at chapter six of Complex TV this this week. And um, first question on that, last paragraph, page 207, would it be best to approach our analysis paper as an act of persuasion? Oh, all right. So um, let me say this, uh, approach our analysis paper as an act of persuasion. Uh, analysis, analysis itself, criticism is a form of, of argumentative persuasion, okay? This is what we call a value argument. So, when we're forming criticism, we are forming value arguments, uh, although they may vary both in their persuasiveness and in their validity based on the level of assessment, right? How, how deeply can we assess a text, right? What kind of evaluative criticism, to use Mattel's uh, preferred uh, term there, can we, can we bring to talking about, speaking to, reading from, close reading, close watching, a text, okay? A televisual text. And so keep that in mind. We are making some value arguments through when, when we perform uh, t t television criticism or genre criticism, media criticism. Um, there is a type of argument at work. It just depends on how much we're bringing in and what kinds of maybe the theories, theoretical terms or, or methods or tools we are utilizing. And, you know, and so that, that is a subjective process based on the, I'm going to pull in a rhetoric, the rhetor, right? The producer of a given message. Can you talk a little more about zero degree style, key buzzword, versus maximum degree style? And pulling from page 219. And I say, this is probably the shortest question of all the questions asked in week three. And I spent the most time looking for the right kind of response that I wanted to give to it. And so just to look really quick at uh, page 219. So there's a there's a comparison contrast between theoretical terms here and in the uh, top middle of 219 Mattel writes it, it, he's been performing evaluative criticism and doing a comparison contrast between um, The Wire and Breaking Bad to television dramas to crime dramas to name a specific genre that are both uh, complicated they, they qualify as complex TV and then they are also referred to as quality TV and more on distinction between those terms later but in any event he does he performs these case study comparisons between these two texts and uh, along those lines writes in short the wire embraces a zero degree style that strives to render its televisual storytelling techniques invisible Whereas Breaking Bad foregrounds a maximum degree style through kinetic visuals, bold sounds, and unpredictable storytelling form. 
uh, and, and kind of continues there. And so he, so the, it, there's interest in these two terms, right? What is this uh, sub, sub comparison Mattel makes uh, between zero degree style and maximum degree style? Right? Where are these coming from? So this, this sentence also ends in a helpful, uh, with a helpful end note citation. And if you will, right, broom, got a little placeholder here, go to the back to that citation. Uh-oh, this is, let's see if, nope, there it is. Num, uh, citate, foot, end note, gosh, let me get this right. Let me, let me speak here. Uh, in note number 18 uh, starts off, see, see Jeremy Butler, television style. Okay, so referencing television style, a different book uh, for a discussion on zero degree style. Uh, but then here's the answer. Here's, here's the contextualization of the author's use. I offer the term maximum degree style as its opposite, bearing uh, some similarity to John Caldwell's historically grounded notion of televisuality, which emphasizes visual excess that can, like Breaking Bad, evoke cinematic traditions or embrace a video-centered aesthetic. And maybe a person is sort of, they stop there and they're like, well, golly gee, you know, do I have, am I going to have to go out and buy this book now, or, or what's this person mean? And while sometimes the internet can give us shortcuts, you know, that's, that's, that's cheating, right? Uh, you want the full text, you know you do, but then I got to thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. Noink. Here we go. Here's Jeremy Butler's television style. Well, it looks, it looks short, 